we are now very excited to hear from Howard Yana Shapiro, who, after a long and storied career as an anthropologist, geneticist, entrepreneur, and most, most recently, the Chief Agricultural Officer at Mars Inc., is now working with C4 iCraft's newest initiative, Resilient Landscapes which aims to radically transform how land is used and how food is produced. Over to you, Howard. Tell us more about this exciting new adventure. It's a delight to be with you today during the opening segment of this event, presenting to you a new venture, Resilient Landscapes. If you are not convinced already, it is my job today to try and show the high congruence between trees and resilient landscapes. In terms of take home messages from this presentation, if there is one thing that you take away from it, I would like for you to consider these three options, mobilizing capital, value chains, and the role of trees. Everyone is talking about mobilizing capital, but they are equating that with mobilizing financial capital and real success will come when we mobilize social capital and leverage natural capital to deliver advances in financial returns. Second, supply chains are really good at what they were designed to do, to maximize profits, to efficiently connect producers and consumers, and to have the very timely delivery of commodities. But to equate supply chains with value chains is wrong because value chains encompass the relationships as well. And while we may think we are creating value through these supply chains, in many cases, we are extracting value. Third, if we took the cleverest thinkers, the most talented builders, the most competent engineers in the world, and gave them the task to build a tree, they would not come anywhere close to nature. Trees are these extraordinary living things. They recycle groundwater from the depths, sequester carbon from the atmosphere, and provide a framework for life to thrive. This amazing video shows the germination, growth, ending up in this fantastic heritage tree that we see here. This tree is known as General Sherman. It's approximately 2,300 years old. It's about 85 meters tall. And when you think of the single cell, the single embryonic cell that then grew to two times 10 to the 15th cells, yes, over two pedicels in this tree, it's incredible. Talk about a return from a single cell to two times 10 to the 15th is amazing. The amount of carbon stored in this tree alone would allow the 200 participants in this conference to each drive around the world three times. Today we are here talking about trees. Why is everyone else talking about trees? We have seen a plethora of websites, newspaper articles, popular magazines, and agriculture and forestry journals publishing a huge amount on this topic at the moment. While a lot of people in the public might be thinking, well, I don't want to give up my holidays. I don't want to keep, I want to keep driving my car. I don't want to eat less meat. Then maybe I could plant a tree. The simplicity of planting a tree is a great act, but just because we plant a tree, it does not mean it will grow, survive, and give the benefits of products and services that we hope to derive from them. But it's not just the popular articles and journals that have been looking at trees being planted. Amazingly, the three top scientific journals in the world, Science, Nature, and New Scientist, have published more than 12 articles in the last year around trees, tree plant, and their multiple values. This is unheralded. For a long tree time, trees have been equated with social justice from the time of Buddha, Mahatma Gandhi, Dr. Martin Luther King used it as well. In 1997, Wangari Maathai started the Green Belt Movement, and it was the first time that trees were linked to social justice of women. She observed that women in central Kenya were running out of firewood and had to spend much of their time on that simple task of collecting firewood. They weren't able to feed their families just from their seasonal annual crops, and there was a huge difficulty in protecting and keeping their land together. What she did was start a movement of empowerment and enfranchisement among women's groups by the act of planting trees. 
It's an amazing concept that has lived through to today, linking women's groups around the world and Wangari Maathai, who was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004. Building on those concepts of social justice and natural capital and seeking to integrate the various elements. Why resilient landscapes? Resilient landscapes, we believe that through our eight value propositions of solutions and options, project ideas and design, standards and monitoring, partnerships and networks, project delivery, project management, finance and blending, evidence and analysis, we combine the knowledge, expertise, and competencies to drive better landscape level investments. The reason we are confident in that is because resilient landscape is powered by C4 and Incraft. C4 and Incraft are this amazing partnership, this merger between two extraordinary institutions with over $1.8 billion invested in scientific research over 700 scientists in 28 locations in the world who have completed over 1,000 projects in more than 70 countries and have produced over 25,000 publication and knowledge products. We are starting out with a small team of seven individuals who will be backed by dozens of consultants, both generalists and specialists, and this close linking between C4 and ICRAF and resilient landscapes with the existing investment projects that we have been working on around the world, give you an example of how we believe this partnership between Resilient Landscapes and C4 Incraft and all the other actors that we want to interface with and engage will be successful. This slide gives you just a flavor of our pan-tropical nature with also a few locations in the developed north, but our predominance is our group of scientists field teams and facilities in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Thank you very much for your interest and thank you very much for allowing me to introduce Resilient Landscapes to you today. We look forward to engaging with you at this event and in the future.